One of the challenging things about a commission versus acquiring an artwork is you don't know where it's going to lead. And that was the approach SSM took. It was a conversational approach. It was conversational with their community, the patients, and with me, the artist. The artwork needed to express the Catholic identity of the hospital and its Catholic mission. A second was the chapel needed to be inviting to all people. So even though this is a Catholic chapel, they have people from all faith backgrounds who come to the hospital and the chapel should be an inviting and comfortable place for anybody. They wanted the idea of suffering to be expressed in the chapel. And that came largely from this idea that, yes, the hospital is a place where people come to be healed, but even when somebody is healed, there's usually a scar, a memory, um, some sense of that pain. So they didn't want to kind of ignore that fact that this is a place where suffering occurs, where there are wounds. The result in the stations was to take actual images, diagnostic images, of problems, a broken wrist, a tumor, and to transform that by putting it in relation to the suffering of Christ so that our suffering is positioned in a larger context. But it's done in a way where there's still the specificity of my suffering. So it's real and it's tangible and it's felt. The passion culminates with Christ's death, but of course, ultimately, we understand that that leads to his resurrection. So there's this idea that there's an opportunity in suffering and a transformation that happens through that suffering that ultimately bears new fruit. This is a, a project of mine that you know, I don't have an, an easy explanation for in terms of if you were to ask what does it say or what does it mean, I, I don't have an easy answer. I think we're left at the same mystery and it's this mystery of of suffering and beauty, and how can suffering be beautiful? <laughs>